么大，希望妹妹遇见你什么地，难道不是那破壁？ Once upon a time, in the future of the past, that movie, which is this movie, at that time was the first movie on the internet. And no matter. It's a science fiction movie. It's a science fiction. It is invisible. I am searching for. For I am searching for an invisible movie. Through my investigations, we have now arrived at the moment in which this or that movie has taken the form of many movies. These are those movies. I am in Japan. I am in Nagasaki. I am a detective and a UFO investigator. And I am searching for an invisible movie. The name of the movie is the telepathic motion picture of the lost tribes. And this is what I see. And I would like to ask, what do you see? So it is that once again we return to day eleven, here at the end of our current and continuing sequence, where we are floating in the air above the place where the days change from one to another, and there, here, we can see that we are in day twenty-five, which is known in the secret code of the second sub-American alphabet as the letter Y, and I don't know why. Soon, however, through luck. Chance and predetermination, and the reverse of all that as well. We will arrive at day 26, the last day of the 26-day cycle, and there we will encounter the secret letter Z, which is the very last letter we will encounter until once again we see the letter A in day one, far away.
And from there, we arrive to day 26, where it is October 6th, 2023, just before dawn. And we are in the air around the round ocean that contains all the land that constitutes the voyaging village of Odaka, here on the four-dimensional seawall that has been created and then recreated to resist that ocean and the sun that is rising so fast beyond it in the east from where it has been born inside the triangle known as the triple zone of the revised republic a birth preceded by an explosion that is slated to be soon reproduced really near here just down the road in the old port city of kokura a place which is north of new nagasaki a hyperbolic town where things that are far away are closer than they appear in the mirror of time. And from there, we travel to day 26, February 14th, 2023, where we are back at our office in the basement of a roaming and official government-sponsored anarchist headquarters where we have created a place for speaking and spelling in a variety of lost languages of a series of instructional videotapes that we will be making for the UFOs in order to understand this and that and maybe other things as well, all within the necessary context of lost time. And from there, we travel to day 26, February 13th, 2024, where we have arrived at the hyperbolic hut that is the home of the absent queen known as Queen Emily Dickinson, who is the erstwhile ruler of the Concord Transcendentalists. Oh. However, she is not at home. So we wander the property and then finally remove our recording apparatus before ringing the doorbell which will summon her from the sky in the shape of a beam of light sent to Earth from a faraway projector beam. And so, we have reached the end of the 26-day cycle. We started the cycle on September 11th, 2023, arriving by accident on that dangerous day to the city of Tokyo, all in order to continue our investigations. Tomorrow, it will once again be day one. And on that day, the 27th day of our search for the invisible movie, here in Japan, it will be October 7th, 2023, the first day of the Gaza War. The name of the movie that we are searching for is called The Telepathic Motion Picture of the Lost Tribes. In order to find it, we will have to look for it, for that is how we will see it. And in order to do so, we will create a series of instructional videos for the UFOs, whoever they are. These instructional videos will embody the forms of the 26-day cycle, wherever it is, and in it we will learn day by day as we pass through the days, here on day 26, here in the wind, here as the days change, and as we return again and again to day one, and then all the other days after it. Thus it is that in the following series of series of series of instructional videos, we will be attempting to see Japan and to help you see Japan. This will happen over a period of 26 days. In Japan, we will attempt to see Nagasaki, which is a real place, 
but which is also, for the purposes of these instructional videos, a hyperbolic volume known to those who know it as the optoplasmic void, which I am sure is a new term for you. But don't worry, everything will be explained in the past. In this and that and these and those places, we will be investigating what we are investigating. For that is what detectives do, and we do that in order to protect the public order from the nefarious effects and efforts of evil. However, you and I are not part of that evil, for we are good, or good enough, or at least not damned, and thus, in our erstwhile goodness, we will investigate with great effort, for it is up to us to save the world, or something like that whatever. And while we are doing that, we will be attempting to see and to speak to the UFOs. For it is for the UFOs that we are making these instructional videos. And we certainly want to see those UFOs just in case they are actually the solid form of the movie that we are looking for. And of Hello, I am looking for an invisible movie. Once upon a time in the future of the past, that movie, which is this movie, at that time was the first movie on the internet. Then and now, it was or is or was a science fiction movie made by science fiction means it was also invisible it is invisible I am searching for it for I am searching for an invisible movie and through my investigations we have now arrived at a moment in which this or that movie has taken the form of many movies These are those movies. This is one of those movies. This is a movie. Each movie in the movie is a movie. All the movies in the movie are a movie. And they are invisible. Whatever. Right now, you will see, or not, the first ten minutes that continue from here, where we are. And if you do, I would like to ask you, what do you see? <laughs>